You can agree. You can disagree. But first, check this video out. Agreeers and disagreeers, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday night after 10 p.m., so you know I just got finished watching the new series on CBS Scorpion. Uh, this episode was entitled True Colors, and once again, we will get to, how we always do, get to exactly why the title is called what it is. So this episode for me was very, very different than the previous episode that I've watched in these series. So first of all, it started out with the mess that they got themselves into with a bunch of flashbacks trying to show them exactly what it went through and how exactly they got there. So this episode was all about flashbacks. Um, now it wasn't hard to follow. I mean, you knew exactly what was going on if you were watching, but a lot of flashbacks and they basically just started off with the mess they were in, uh, the big explosion on the bridge, and then they flashed back to exactly what steps got them to exactly where they were. So. I kind of liked how it started out like that. It is different than the previous episodes, but it gave it a little twist and it kind of kept me interested throughout the whole episode. So in this episode, True Colors, the problem that they face in this episode is that there is art fraud in a museum and they're trying to figure out exactly who's behind the fraud, who's behind the painting and who got it into the museum in the first place. And you know, this episode actually for the first time for me shows exactly how much the geniuses have trouble communicating with normal people. Um, the whole team of Scorpion, uh, the, the way they try to communicate with normal people, just it, I just feel like it never works. Uh, the writing was really good in this one. They had some very funny lines that Walter tried talking to somebody, and honestly, it had me cracking up the whole time. Also, Toby, too, was pretty funny with some of the communication with regular people. Um, I know that uh, Paige, Catherine McPhee's character, keeps bringing it up, how they need to learn how to talk to people, and she's going to help them out. Honestly, they need a little more work on that. Uh, it was funny, though, overall. Um, so, and this is also the time where Scorpion actually gets called out for being um, mentally unstable instead of mentally inclined. And they actually get all get sent into a psychiatrist, which I really did not like this woman. I don't know if she was Russian or she was somewhere with a with an accent um i didn't really enjoy her voice it was very deep very uh almost manly in a way but uh i do recognize her she was a patient in the series house and she was a um a magician i believe and she was a patient in house that's the only way i recognize her from i i don't know what else she's in i'm not really a big fan of her honestly so they all saw her and obviously toby was trying to switch the gears on her and ask her the questions which was a pretty funny scene too and uh, also when Happy went in, uh, she said, you know, don't don't say anything and you'll make me happy. So obviously both of them had turmoil towards each other. Nobody enjoyed talking to a psychiatrist. I know I would not enjoy it either. So they got in, they got out, they got rid of her as quick as possible. And also a nice uh, cameo or guest star appearance was um, Linda Hunt from NCIS. Uh, she's the short woman with the short haircut. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit of a fan of her. I wouldn't quite call myself a fan, actually. She's decent at what she does. Uh, she's a little odd looking, a little uneasy on the eyes, but she's funny. Uh, she was funny in this role, too. She One of the scenes in this episode where she helped Scorpion pick out their disguises to go into the um, the art museum owner's house or the, uh, the millionaire's house to try to figure out exactly where the paintings were. Um, she picked out the outfits and she had a funny line. I forgot exactly what it was, but she made me chuckle for a little bit. So, you know, I enjoyed her. Um, I really do hope, I'm, I'm happy that they had this guest appearance. I hope they keep pulling in other people because if you're a fan of NCIS, obviously you're a fan of Linda Hunt and you're going to want her to, you know, if you're a fan of Scorpion, you enjoyed her presence in that time too. So this museum artwork is forged. They don't know if it's done by human hand. They don't know if it's done by machine and they have to figure out exactly who did it. And uh, my first guess was uh, the museum owner, and that's who exactly Scorpion went after in the first place. But then we realize, um, you know, somebody else is in the mix too. They finally found out who was behind this whole art forgery, and it was this artist who struggled as he was growing up to get his work noticed and recognized by other people. So he accepted this uh, bribe from actually the museum owner. 
um, obviously Happy hacked into their email. Actually, it was Sylvester who hacked into the recent emails of the museum owner and um, the, the owner of the building where the artwork was. And he actually saw the email between the struggling artist and the museum owner. So they figured out it was him. They chased after him. And this was pretty funny because um, Walter was actually posing as a federal agent and he was chasing this guy down a whole street, jumping over fences and he falls. So that added a little bit of humor into it. And he keeps screaming out, I'm a federal agent, I'm a federal agent. I'm just saying, you know, where is Gallo right now? He would not appreciate this. And behind the pillar, Gallo comes out, clotheslines the criminal, the struggling artist, and they apprehend him and they start questioning him. And obviously, now they know that the museum owner's into it. So they find the painting and they put it in the guy's trunk. And, you know, they think the job is over when they get him pulled over on the bridge. And then his car blows up. If you did see the episode, you do know that he got out of the car and uh, Agent Gallo shows up and he says, you know, you got Scorpion, you guys are in big trouble. And Scorpion, obviously, you know, they they confessed that it was their fault that the car blew up. And um, everyone thought that the art was burned. And little do they know, at the end of the episode, um, if you didn't watch, go watch, because I'm about to spoil it right now. Uh, the artwork was returned to the rightful owner. Uh, it was an old couple and they were really appreciative of it. Uh, uh, Walter met up with the woman, they got the artwork back, and everything was that. Now, getting back to how I always end these episodes is connecting it with the title of the episode. So, True Colors. This episode was, without a doubt, everybody was showing their true colors, and I really want to say Walter, because the way that he talked to um, Paige in this episode, Catherine McPhee's character, and the way that he talked to Ralph. It, it was, it's always easy for him to talk to Ralph because they're on the same genius level, but it's always hard for Walter and the Team Scorpion to open up to regular humans, uh, people with normal IQs. And I think Walter tried his heart out to try and open up to everybody. And I think uh, with a little more practice, I think Scorpion's gonna finally get the hand of talking to normal humans. So if you saw the episode, definitely comment down below on your thoughts of True Colors, the latest Scorpion episode. And until next time, let's see if we can agree to disagree.